He's received elite wages. Mm. I'm not sure anyone really believes yet that he's quite an elite coach. Mm. But he's so, never properly managed an elite club anyway. Well, well I, 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 I guess I mean, you'd, you'd say, would you'd say PSG, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't. Villa fans throughout the game chanting, um, you know, you're sacked in the morning. In fact, there was one bit where all the fans were united in that chant. That, that was strange how the Fulham fans started that chant and the Villa fans joined in very mm. loudly. It's very strange. And, 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 you know, they were saying, get out of Stephen Gerrard, get out of our club. I mean, you said, Andy, that there's no way back here. It's just poisonous. It's poisonous. It's Absolutely toxic. poisonous. And, even and the way him... you have to come off at Craven Cottage, yeah. you have to take that sort of diagonal walk from the bench yeah. across to the sort of corner tunnel, going right past the away, away fan. fan. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty awful. Yeah, we were just did, thinking, yeah. we hope Amazon don't get him out for a chat afterwards. Obviously, they didn't because he was, he was gone by then. You do wonder who's going to take charge of Villa this weekend because they've just tweeted, Aston Villa can confirm, Gary McAllister, Neil Critchley, Tom Coleshaw, Jordan Milsom and Scott Mason have all left the club following the departure of head coach Stephen Gerrard. Well, I was going to say, McAllister, you know, he was with him oh. at Rangers and he went to, to, mm. to Villa with him. But it's such a fall for, for Gerrard. You know, what he did at Rangers with that unbeaten season in the league, you, know, you thought, well, hang on a minute, he, he he looks the part, doesn't he? And then yeah. He looked been... so green. He looked so green this season. Yeah, he did. Just, well, just throwing, throwing everything, oh, I'll see what's <clears> it's <throat> it's, pr- it's probably the best time to bring in a manager Get, just bring someone in temporarily. Just, Who's your money just, on, Peter? Well, Come on. Tight, tighten it up. Get some draws up into the World Cup. Who, and then, Peter, and then who? Re- get some and draws then up into the draw. World Cup. Well, you have to. It's depressing, though, have isn't you it? Seen the, have you seen <laughs> how the club. team are playing? Yeah, they are a massive club, but that's that's the best well, thing in the world. Who do you fancy? Come on. Who's going to get these draws? Who's going to get these draws? Well, I get, the, I get the feeling that they're doing this now before any of the other uh, managers get sat, like, you know, possibly Jesse uh, Marsh, because um, they want to be first at the manager buffet. Just say a name. Favourite is Pochettino. Pochettino is the favourite this morning. In. Yeah, there you are. But do you, do gonna... you guys think that's possible? Well, I think it's what, I th- that he can come in and get Punchable. a few draws. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what, 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 what do you mean? What's the context of that question? Um, is it a big enough job for him? Because uh, Marcus and I were discussing this last mm. night, and I, I don't think it is, is it? I think I think he's in this. Thought. I think he's in this weird sort of netherworld where you, you look at the wages he's received recently. He's received elite wages. Mm. I'm not sure anyone really believes yet that he's quite an elite coach. Mm. But he's so, never properly managed an elite club anyway. Well, well I, I, I guess I mean, you'd, you'd PSG say, you'd would say be... PSG, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't. Wouldn't you? No. They're a Champions League. An elite club these really. days. They're a Champions League contender. They're not, I mean, they talk about, they're not, they're not like a grand old team of, of, of European, you know. Pre, you know yeah, but, so, so yeah, sure, yeah, but with, yeah, but with that, with that you're, you would then say Benfica are an elite side, not PSG, whereas the current climate, I mean, PSG's got Neymar but, but what, and Messi. Okay, up. fine. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me qualify it by saying that Richard Pochettino has been a manager for about 13 years in total, mm. right? And five at least of those years have been at Espanyol and Southampton mm. and the rest of them have been at Spurs. You know, Spurs are on you know on the up and they're a big team and they're mm. based in London and all the rest of it. Spurs aren't um, the top elite club and he's done one season at PSG. I, I think that's, yep. the, that's the whole problem with Pochettino though, isn't it? It's that probably he sees himself and a lot of people see him as sort of being in that elite bracket. His wages in the last couple of jobs would suggest that he's got to a Champions he ain't League gonna, final. He ain't get small wages at Villa. They get big wages at Villa. Yeah, but does he think that he's too big for that job? That's the real question. And what is his natural level? I don't think anyone actually knows. Despite Villa, the fact he's 50, Andy, people think of him like a young coach. Andy, still, Villa, don't they? No, I do take Villa's that point. perfect for him because they're a massive club with a mm-hmm. huge ceiling. And he can go in there when they're on their on the a real low point mm-hmm. with some good players to work mm-hmm. with. I th- I think I think that's convincing. I'm just wondering, does he see it like that? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm bearing I'm, in mind I... that he's turned down say Nice recently, who've got a lot of money and an ambitious. So project. it's almost like a Conte going to Spurs situation, you would say. Yeah, possibly. 